Hey, welcome back to the shop. Still working on that autofocus thing, so I don't know how I look, and I can't even see with my glasses. We're starting on a new project here. You can tell I'm going to make another flag, just like I did the Army logo, but this time because it's been requested that I do Navy logo. So it's going to be a short video, and we're going to do the Navy logo on an American flag. You'll see what happened to this at the end. Did this just like my other flags. Made my blue stripes, my white stripes, my red stripes, glued them in place. Had to glue each piece individually. In this heat, when you mass glue stuff, the glue sets up before you even get a chance to lay the stripes up. But I did get a really good bond and everything came out nice and flat. Clamp it up, let it dry, threw it on the CNC. Well, I finally decided since I wasn't using the dust collector, might as well take the dust boot off and we can see exactly what we're doing. Since this is pallet wood, our Z height varies quite a bit. So it takes a little dialing in to get the Z height set accurately. Watching the CNC can be fun, but it's a little bit tedious, kind of slow, so I speed this up 12 times normal speed. Okay, I know I'm having a little trouble with focus here, but I really like this camera and eventually it'll look really good. It's going to come into focus here real soon. No, really, I promise. I'm using an eighth inch end mill for all the roughing out. And the final cleanup pass is with a 1 16th end mill. Really defines it, gives it really nice detail. Followed by a 63 engraving bit to do the rope detail. This is what happens when you put 7 tenths instead of 7 hundredths in your Z height. So that's what it's supposed to look like when it's done properly. All finished up and ready to go and make delivery. Hope this makes our Navy friends happy. So give us a like and a subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.